Hey guys, welcome back to another weekend outfit. Today is Monday and yeah, I thought I would just very quickly dive into it, talk you through what I'm wearing um, and I wanted to continue on with that same format as the last weekend outfits video, which I'm going to link up here if you haven't watched it. Um, I really like this and I'd love to know your feedback if you prefer it or if you would rather that I just showed you in the mirror. But I feel like this is a much clearer way to show you what I'm wearing and so that you can better see how things look and fit on me. Um, so yeah, it is sunny. I think it's supposed to be 29 degrees today. However, I am mostly going to be stuck in the house, hence why I'm wearing long sleeves. Um, and you'll see later why I'm also wearing trousers. Um, it's my working day, so our son is at daycare. And yeah, that is kind of um, where I'm at. Um, accessories wise, I have on my Majuri these are the textured hoops. I showed these in a recent video collaboration I did with them. Then necklaces wise, I have on my, uh, this is the Linear Navric chain. And then I ha also have on my Misma Interstellar necklace layered underneath. And then I have on my Ilsa ring from Linear as well. The top that I'm wearing today is a simple Breton stripe midi near from Cezanne. And I have shared this in another video. Um, it's quite loose, sort of a boxy fit drop shoulders. The interesting detail which was what kind of sold it to me is the fact that it has this button placket, sort of a Henley style to it, down the center. And it's very reminiscent of their uh, Leontine jumper, which I also have, but this to me feels a lot more wearable in terms of a day-to-day -day perspective. Plus it also is one that you could wear pretty much year round, especially if you live somewhere where your summers tend to be a little bit cooler. Um, so if you can hear the cars, I've left the windows open. Uh, the trousers that I'm wearing today are ones I've had for, I want to say, gosh, over two years now. They're the Everlane Slim Crop Leg Trouser, I believe. Um, I have them in two sizes. These ones are a lot more snug. Um, the other ones that I have are in a lighter, a light kind of cream color. And I need to get them taken up as they're a bit long on me. Um, I'm planning to try and do that this week. These are such incredibly comfortable trousers. Um, I really like the fit of them and the fact that they do have that crop length through the leg. Uh, and they're super duper stretchy. I think they're just very flattering on. Um, I have them in the navy. The only complaint I have is that I do find that this darker pair does pick up a little bit of fluff. So something to be mindful of. But if you work somewhere that is a little bit more casual and you want a trouser that is comfortable enough to feel like you're kind of wearing a really stretchy pair of jeans but that also looks really tidy i think these are a great option especially they do have that high high rise they have the button fly just think yeah they look very smart then on my feet i'm wearing my charlotte olympia kitty flats i love these shoes and they're ones that i just pull out when i want to add a little bit of fun and whimsy to my outfit they fit true to size and unfortunately i have this funny feeling they're getting phased out or there's something happening with the charlotte olympia brand i believe as a result of covid which is a bit sad um she's one of my favorite designers for shoes then i haven't bothered to change my bag since my last week in outfits video so i'm still using my quince crossbody camera bag in the mock crop leather i haven't bothered to change the strap yet quite a few people suggested punching in additional holes unfortunately and i don't know if you're going to be able to see so hopefully you're able to see this but this is actually the way the strap is so the fastening is here which means you've only got this much slack in order to punch holes so can't actually use that as a method to uh, reduce the length unless maybe a uh, leather maker could move that uh, fastening so I haven't explored doing that the uh, cobbler leather repair that I like to use is based in the city and I have not been to the city in a very long time I think in probably four months plus so not sure when I'll get to that. Um, I did actually want to talk about something else today, which was the fantasy self. So I tried on a pair of shoes that I have, and I'm going to show you them in a second, um, on the weekend. And in theory, I absolutely love them. And I was completely sold on them because I'd seen them on Brittany Bathgate, whose style I absolutely love. And I think she nails it to a T. Um, and I really kind of admire the way and the thought process that uh, she implements when it comes to adding things to her wardrobe or just putting together an outfit. Um, and yeah, they look fab on her and I thought, you know what, they're a summer classic in terms of the style. I'm sure I'll be able to wear them. I'm sure I'll get lots of wear out of them. Um, and while I have worn them in, I've barely reached for them and I feel like I'm just not cool enough to wear them, if you know what I mean. Um, hang on, I'll grab the shoes so you know what I'm talking about. 
Okay, so the shoes in question are, and these aren't going to be everybody's taste and I totally get that. And if you don't like them, that's fine. I think that's kind of what uh, fashion is all about, you know, finding your own way, finding your, carving your own path and wearing the things that you personally enjoy. So these aren't for you. I don't mind. <laughs> um, but this is what they look like. They're a leather flip-flop, basically. Um, these are a dupe for the original style from The Row. Um, these are called the Ives sandal from Tony Bianco. I'll link them down below. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. They're kind of a flat form flip-flop. And when I put them on, I just don't really feel like I'm myself. I kind of feel like I'm playing dress up or that they just don't suit me. And it was just a bit of a strong reminder not to play into that idea of the fantasy self, which in itself is a topic that I said I would delve into in a video and I never did. So I want to apologize for that, um, having a baby <laughs> and trying to fit work around caring for him full time is quite challenging. So I do definitely want to talk about that more uh, depth in a video, hopefully this year, finally. Um, but yeah, I think, I think being at home a lot and having a complete lifestyle change has really made me reflect on what I need out of my wardrobe, what actually I like to wear and what suits me. Um, and it was, yeah, just a reminder not to get caught up in what looks great on other people or the lifestyles of other people, which is vastly different to my own. And um, I definitely bought these at a time where I was really questioning, I think, my own personal style and feeling really lost with what I was wearing. So um, I'm going to ruminate on them for the next week, uh, see if I can wear them with any outfits, but I just don't really feel like they're me. So I believe these are ones that I'll probably end up putting on my Depop for anyone who has had their eye on them and would like to get them at a much lower price. <laughs> okay, that is it from me today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Check in then. I hope that you're having a lovely week so far and yeah, see you on Tuesday. So it's Tuesday and it is gloriously sunny outside. Very much looking forward to getting out of the house. Our son's just gone down for his nap, so I'm just getting some things ready as I'm gonna catch up with an old girlfriend and her little baby boy uh, for lunch. So that'll be really nice. Um, I thought, I actually haven't done concealer and I got a new one in the mail yesterday, so I thought I would give it a go and uh, try it on camera with you guys. We can do a little first impressions. Um, it's from Laura Mercier and this is their new, it's called the Secret Camouflage concealer duo and this is kind of hopefully it'll focus this is kind of like the um, concealer pen version of their palette which I've always wanted to try but I've never had an opportunity to and at one end it has a brightener for under the eyes and then on the other other side it's got a corrector for camouflaging any spots um, redness so very excited to try this and I kind of get the feeling it's gonna be quite a creamy consistency that it may be quite thick um, I've got the shade 2N um, I believe. so let's just come in close so you can see and I'm not wearing any foundation I've actually just been finding that um, I prefer the way that my skin is uh, it's also faster um, I've been using a Biosense a new product from them I'll leave it linked down below maybe I can show you tomorrow which I actually think has been helping to get rid of some of the pigmentation that I've got on my skin. So let's just draw a little bit under here. Oh, that is so nice and creamy. Okay, so I'm using the Brighton side. So I'm just looking up at the viewfinder. I'm going to see if I can just blend that out with my finger. Yeah. I definitely think that's made a difference. I don't have too much. I mean, I'm quite lucky. I don't really have too much darkness underneath the eyes, I mostly just find that it kind of gets a little bit purpley blue just here in that socket area. So, well, that's really lovely and it blends out really easily. I like this. It's definitely going in my everyday makeup and then I just tend to get a bit of redness there. I love something you can easily just draw. It's like got little whiskers. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, cool. That looks undetectable on the skin gotten rid of that redness, brightened up under my eyes. This is a winner. Gonna continue using this. We'll let you know if my thoughts change throughout the week when I'm kind of doing it up close in the mirror. Um, now, let me talk you through my outfit. Let's go with accessories first. So, earrings that I have on today. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them. They're quite dainty. These are from Ana Luisa. They're just a little huggy with a sparkle, bit of sparkle. My necklace that I'm wearing today is from Linya. I'll write down exactly which chain this is, or at least it's on my edit on their website, because uh, I can't remember 
Um, my other favourite is in Navrick, but this one's really nice too and it hangs a little bit lower because I'm just wearing a basic tee, so I wanted something to add, uh, I don't know, a bit of interest around the neckline. Um, I have just on my wedding bands and then on this hand I'm wearing two little uh, rings from Majuri stacked. Then let me just drop you down, pull you back. <laughs> Okay, so the t-shirt that I'm wearing is an old one. This is kind of a faded grey t-shirt from Bershka. And it actually has this folded detail here at the arm. I kind of need to press it, I think. I think it would help it stay. Um, I haven't done that since washing it. I'm very, very oversized. I believe I'm wearing the size small. Um, as usual, my sizing info will be down in the uh, description box. But yeah, I really like the way that it fits and it's quite long too. So the kind of t-shirt that you could wear with leggings. And if they have it, um, I highly recommend it because the price is very affordable and it just has this very lovely hand feel. It's quite lightweight. A major favorite of mine. The skirt that I'm wearing, actually I've worn this entire outfit, or at least a very similar iteration of this outfit before, and I, d I love the combination, so I'm not afraid to repeat looks that I like, and this is a very easy, simple one, especially as a mum when you want to get ready really quickly. The skirt is from Isabel Morant, and I just love Isabel Morant's skirts. I've mentioned this before, I think she's got a real knack for creating an interesting silhouette, and something that is also really flattering on the female form. Um, this is a wrap style, so so the other thing I like about it is that you can actually kind of uh, wear it a bit more high-waisted or you can wear it a bit lower down because you, being a wrap style, it's a bit more forgiving in terms of uh, how wide it is kind of thing. So I've just got that knotted and it sort of has a little bit of an asymmetrical hemline because of the wrap detail. Um, I really like the floral print on it, being a dark burgundy feels very fitting for the autumn time but also just a piece you can wear year round even in the summer too because it's made from um, cotton. This is an old season piece so if I can find one um, on the pre-love market I'll be sure to link it below because you'll probably be able to get it for a steal. These shoes I have on today are, surprise, surprise, my St. Laurent tribute slides. <laughs> I've been wearing them so much. I adore these shoes. Um, really, I think you're probably going to get sick of me talking about them and I'm probably going to end up wearing them every day this week. So apologies in advance. Then I changed my bag. It's a miracle. So the bag that I'm using today is my Fendi Mama Zuka bag, which I purchased pre-loved pre off the real real um, I think almost three years ago maybe now had it for a while and I really love it it's a great size fits nicely on the shoulder good for all the essentials so yeah that is my outfit of the day I'll see you guys tomorrow with my next look of the week morning it is Wednesday today and it's pretty overcast but I think it's supposed to be quite warm still 26 degrees I actually ended up having a fever last night. Um, it was really unusual. I got this very, very bad headache and I've had them recurrently for a while. I'm, I've been thinking that it's probably just down to sleep deprivation, which is a very normal part of being a parent. But um, this one was accompanied by a fever and <laughs> at about midnight, Luke woke up. I was shivering in bed going, I am so cold. Then an hour later, I was like, I'm too hot. So uh, I think the fever broke overnight. Um, yes, uh, today I've got an appointment this morning and then I'm meeting up with one of my girlfriends this afternoon who is helping to design a ring that Luke, um, is giving me as a birthday, uh, and Christmas present. It's going to sit above my, en uh, engagement ring band. So, uh, that'll be getting cast this weekend, which is really exciting and I can't wait to kind of add it to my finger. I think it's going to look really pretty. I'll definitely share when it is ready. Um, also I grabbed that serum, which I mentioned yesterday that I've been loving from Biosance. Um, so it is called the Squalane and Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. So I've been using this because I want to kind of improve the discoloration and pigmentation on my face. Um, this is definitely a genetic thing because my mum had the same kind of concerns on her face as well, um, I recall. And, and I know for sure it's not something that I had when I was in my early 20s. So, you know, just one of those things that comes with age. And I feel like my skin is looking brighter. I would say that's probably down to the vitamin C. But one thing I will say for sure is that when I use this, um, Quite often I will um, just not have time to throw on a moisturizer as well and because of the squalane which is very hydrating I find that I can make do and get by without actually putting a uh, moisturizer on top. Obviously if I remember it's a great thing but yeah really been loving this so far and as far as I can tell I feel like it has had a really positive impact on my skin 
I've been using it for about a week and a half, so obviously need to use it for a lot longer to know the extent. Also, the concealer that I um, put on yesterday, let me just make it a little bit darker, it's gone really bright, listen. Um, I put it on again today, I actually realized I hadn't blended it in fully properly yesterday. Let me get really nice and close. Um, I, I really like it. I noticed that it wore really well over the course of the day. Um, definitely brightens up under my eyes. I do feel like, um, there are some, there's a little bit of glitter in it, in the, uh, brightening, um, shade, which has left these little light reflecting particles, um, under here. Um, that's probably the only thing I've noticed that isn't my favorite, but aside from that, I think it is really good and something I'm going to continue to use. Okay, let's actually talk about my outfit because I've already been waffling on for ages. <laughs> the earrings that I'm wearing today are from Reliquia. I've talked about these before. I don't love them in terms of the quality because mine have tarnish. They've gone slightly green, but I still wear them. I like the style. I'm not sure I'd buy from the brand again. I also had a quality issue with a necklace which broke the second time I wore it. Um, the necklace that I'm wearing today is this one here which was given to me from my friend from Sarah and Sebastian. Then, hang on. Okay, so I've gone for a singlet and cardigan combo just because I figured if I got really hot, I could just take the knit off and, you know, layering. Best part about the transitional season. So the tank that I have on underneath is the Eveline Recotton Racerback Tank, which has become one of my favorites in my closet. I actually think I'm going to buy the black one because I really, really like it. The cardigan is one you probably would have seen last year. I got it in... I want to say I got it around a year ago now, actually. Uh, it is from the brand Moya from W Concept, and it's just a really lovely speckled wool. It's 100% wool. It feels really nice on the skin. It kind of has that uh, lanolin scent to it, and then it's got dark buttons. Um, the fit of it is very, very, very boxy. I don't know if it's still available, but if it is, um, yet I do sort of roll the cuffs. I might actually pop my little Chanel brooch on here too, just to add a bit of extra interest. My skirt is from the Australian brand Age. Um, I bought this, again, I bought this around about a year ago because I was looking for skirts that fit my new body a little bit better than the old one I had from ASOS. And I really like this style. It's A-line, um, it's not too short, it has a, a distressed hem. They don't have this exact one anymore, but it's a style that they repeat a lot. So they do it in very slight variations on this. I've also seen some more affordable options, which again, same shape. So I will link a few different uh, ones down below. Then my shoes are my Sam Edelman loafers. I went for black loafers. Thought about wearing my Gucci ones, but I just thought for, to for today, these would be a little bit more practical just in case it rains because um, I'm very hesitant to wear my Gucci loafers if it's raining. Then the bag is again my Quince crossbody bag today, so not too much to report there. Anyway, that is today's outfit. I will see you tomorrow with my next look of the week. Hey guys, so it is Thursday today and it is kind of overcast. I think it's supposed to rain later on. Um, it's going to be a pretty chill day for us. I've been experiencing these chronic headaches and so just really trying to take it easy. Um, I have put on some accessories here. So I'm wearing my Linya, these are called the Kirsten Pearl Huggies and you can actually remove the pearl. So you kind of get two earrings in one, which I like. I think it's great value for money. My necklace is again, just my little uh, two initial chain from Sarah and Sebastian. Since I dropped off my wedding bands, I've actually just popped on my mum's old uh, engagement ring. That's what it looks like. And then I am wearing a pearl bracelet from Majuri. Definitely feeling the pearl vibes today. The top that I am wearing is from Miere, which if you don't know, it's my own children's wear label. We do have some women's wear. And actually, I'm in the process of waiting for samples to arrive for a cardigan and then a uh, thicker knit sweater, which hopefully will be ready in time for autumn, winter, or for winter, should I say, for those of you who live in the Southern Hemisphere. Otherwise, um, they're kind of going to be style staples, so should be available year-round if you live in the Northern Hemisphere and you like the look of them. But very excited, and they'll both be made from 100% organic cotton, just mirroring some of the children's wear styles that we've got. And uh, eventually, I'd like to really do some linen pieces and things as well for women too, so 
watch this space. Um, so I'm wearing the Ecru and actually I'm hoping you might be able to see the true color of it on camera. It's very hard to capture um, in our home. Uh, so it is a very, very pale yellow toned cream. Um, I almost think of it as a bit of a wheat color. So you know when you've got um, wheat, it's almost ready to be harvested and it almost has this like very, very light green undertone to the yellow. Um, I really like it because I don't have anything else in the shade of my closet, um, I want it very loosely tucked into my Arquette denim shorts. These are now a little bit too big for me. Um, I've got them in the 26. The quality of them is just incredible and I highly recommend them if you've had them on your list. The Ecru or Off-White is truly just an off-white colour. Um, it's, uh, yeah, hopefully you'll be able to see the difference in tones here. Um, yeah, the fit is really nice because they're very wide through the thigh, so they aren't uncomfortable. Very good if you're kind of crawling around um, and will be perfect if you're in the Northern Hemisphere sort of heading towards spring and summer. Uh, definitely one to get and they come in another colour too, I believe. My belt that I'm wearing to sort of cinch them in at the waist is from Under Control Studio and it's a dark brown with a gold buckle and I love this. I have another belt which is a dark brown but it has a silver buckle and I tend to wear a lot more gold toned jewellery. On my feet, I'm wearing my St. Laurent slides, this time in the Latte Patent. Um, love these shoes and I do still wear them loads. I'd actually thought about pairing this outfit with my Nisolo slides, but I just felt that the colour combination didn't quite work. Um, the outfit, the colours, didn't feel well balanced. Then the bag that I'm using today, which you will have seen in my recent um, handbag video, which if you haven't, I'm going to link it up here is this one from Madewell, so adds a nice touch of additional warmth to the look. So just wanted to show you up close, the type of leather this is, is sort of like a vegetable tanned leather, so it is going to be more prone to scratching up, and you might be able to see there are a couple of little minor marks up here from where <laughs> our boy decided to kind of get a little bit frabby. He really enjoys uh, fishing around in my handbags, that's for sure. Anyway, that is my full outfit of the day. I'll see you guys tomorrow for my last look of the week. Hey guys, happy Friday. So today it is another overcast day. It's quite cloudy. It's been raining on and off. It actually rained really heavily last night and it was sort of drizzling a little bit when I walked down to the supermarket earlier. We've got some quite ominous looking clouds welcoming in the weekend. Um, I am very much looking forward to this weekend as Luke and I have a getaway with our little bubs to celebrate him turning one. It's a little bit of a belated holiday and I'm really, yeah, really looking forward to it. It's going to be nice to get away to the beach even if the weather's not 100% we're staying at Bangalay Villas so they're right on the beach so it would just be a very short walk there's a pool um, I just think it's gonna be a really lovely trip the three of us uh, yeah so I believe I will be vlogging or at least I'll be sharing some of the trip uh, either on my blog or on Instagram so I'll be sure to kind of share that um, after the fact. Uh, let me talk you through my outfit and I've got two variations on it because I wore a particular kind of look when I was walking and then for just at home I changed my shoes and also wasn't wearing a jacket. So let's talk through the base outfit first. Let's put you down actually. <laughs> Almost forgot I need to talk through accessories before the outfit. Okay, earrings are these little Huggies, they are from Anya High. I've had them for a while and I absolutely love them. They just add a little bit of bling to my ears. Then I have on a couple of rings from Linya, two of my favourites. Also I have mum's ring on still and oops, it has twisted around. I'm also just wearing my little necklace from Sarah and Sebastian. Okay, so starting with the core part of my outfit, which is essentially a tank and shorts. Again, I've gone for neutrals and I'm so sorry if you are sick of seeing me wear monochromatic outfits. Um, if there's certain things you'd like to see in terms of what I'm wearing daily, then let me know as I can challenge myself to uh, switch things up a little bit, I suppose. So the tank is from Mate the Label and I have talked about them before. I own this vintage tank in three colours and the uh, it's almost like a pale cream, the creamy yellow colour, uh, which I, I adore, it's an off-white. Uh, that one got a hole in it and I had cared for it really well. When I reached out to the customer service, they ended up refunding me. So a little bit frustrating because obviously you don't give it the postage, but the entire customer service experience was really positive on the whole. So I would probably purchase from there, but I'm in no rush because uh, I've got more than enough as it is. And there's other brands I'd probably like to explore a little more first. But other than that, I really love the fit. And I have another thicker tank from them, which uh, seems to be probably a little bit more substantial in terms of wear and tear. Um, has this 
raw edge hem detail around the neckline and yes it is semi sheer you can kind of see the curve of my um my bra underneath these shorts that i'm wearing are from among and you'll remember that i've got them in navy and i said that i bought them in another color but actually i bought them in two other colors <laughs> when i really like something and i feel it's a style that works for me i am quite happy to stock up in colors i think will work for my wardrobe so this is this really lovely kind of a uh, beigey st pumice stone colored herringbone short i really love the fit of them i just think it's very classic and something i'll be able to wear for years i'm assuming that i still fit into them um, and they're really comfortable they're a cotton linen mix they wash well no complaints i also got them in a dark chocolate brown um, then for in the house, I've been wearing my Saint Laurent slides, the same ones that I had on yesterday. I feel like they complement the outfit really nicely. Um, my bag of choice today has again been this little Madewell bag. And I will say, um, it actually got a little bit of rain on it when I went on my walk and there are zero watermarks on it and I haven't actually put any protector on it. So that is really positive actually. I wouldn't want to get it caught in a downpour. but. That is definitely good. Now, for my walk, I added a jacket. And the jacket that I was wearing is from Eveline. It's called their Renew Parker 2.0, I think. So, their Renew pieces are generally made out of recycled water bottles, which I think is very cool. This is the color bay leaf, and it looks like it's coming off pretty true on camera, actually. It's a really nice, sort of desaturated olive military green. Um, this is very, very thin but it's surprisingly warm and I suspect that's because it is made out of recycled water bottles, so recycled plastic. So it's not really uh, the type of fabric which is gonna breathe, so it's gonna retain heat. Great if you need a really thin layer to sort of break the wind um, that's hitting you. Maybe if you live somewhere like Wellington, you wanted some lighter layers. Uh, and yeah, I like that there's a lot of room underneath to actually put additional things like knitwear and stuff. Um, and the length fits really nice. I like that it comes up on the side. And also, the reason why I wore it is it has a hood. <laughs> so I was wearing that on my walk. I'll come up a little bit closer, you can kind of see there. Detail, it has a zipper at the front. Does run big. I'm wearing these size extra small. Then on my feet, I'm wearing my Golden Goose sneakers, which I know are not going to be to everyone's taste, but they are incredibly comfortable. They have a little low block in the heel which lifts you up. I think that's one of the reasons why they are probably so popular and I do have versions which don't look distressed like mine do so uh, if that's something that's put you off I will maybe link the uh, pristine version <laughs> down below so you can go check them out. Um, you don't have to spend as much money to get a great pair of sneakers and I have done a video on the best sneakers and I'll link it up in the cards. I have to say probably the most worn pair in that video after my Golden Goose ones has been my Everline Court sneakers because um, they're pretty easy to just throw on and I find them very comfortable. Um, the fact that they're really roomy uh, turned out to be a bit of a... Um, I suppose an upside or a positive for them. So yeah, that is kind of my final outfit of the week. As always, let me know which your favorite look was down in the comments section below. If you got this far, maybe put a little green heart or something like that. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching, for spending some of your day with me. And I will see you on Monday for the brand new video. See you then, bye.